Hey everybody, I moved. I don't even know if I told you all that I moved. And I am getting my tower gardens up in my new house. We have two and a half acres. I love it, love it, love it. And I have lots of space for my towers, but I wanna put them in a convenient place. So we had this concrete poured um, that runs along the house and we're putting our towers along it. Um, but I'm gonna plant strawberries and I wanna show you guys exactly how to plant strawberries. We have some new recommendations. So, number one, get the right cultivar for your area. Call your extension agency, ask them what the right variety is to plant in your area. Very important. Number two, get bare root strawberries. Bare root strawberries come like this. They have bare roots. Now, sometimes they come in plugs. That's totally fine. Then you can just pop them right into your tower. Sometimes they come bare. It depends on how you buy them. And then you have to prep them. So go ahead and remove any leaves that look bad. Leave a couple of these for photosynthesis, and then you can wrap them in rock wool and stick them in your tower. So you want to go ahead and break the rock wool in half, stick a couple plants in there, one or two plants, and then leave the crowns up above the rock wool, and then stick it right in your tower, and that's pretty easy to do. Number three, lots of sunlight, lots and lots of sunlight. So I've got four towers out here, actually five, because I have one right there, and the most important thing is making sure that we get seven, eight hours of sunlight on those towers. It's gonna to really affect production. Uh, number four, that might've been four already. Number four, um, water. Set your water to 15 minutes on, 45 minutes off, because they don't like to be wet. And number five, pH. Get your pH down around 5.5. Try to keep it there because they really like a lower pH. Um, and, oh, number six. They're susceptible to every fungus under the planet, it seems like, on the planet, <laughs> not under the planet. So um, that's the reason why tower gardens, or why strawberries are so heavily sprayed. And there's such a toxic crop to buy in the stores because they're sprayed with everything under the sun. There's this app called SAS, SAS, and it is a strawberry uh, notification system. So it's used by commercial growers, but we can use it too. And it tells commercial growers in the, I, I've, I've only actually looked at the Southeast and it covered most of the states in the Southeast. It tells them, it, they monitor for diseases in strawberries. And then they say, okay, this disease is here, so spray with this. Now, we don't have access, access to those pesticides and we don't want those pesticides because they are toxic, um, but we can use some organic alternatives. So if you figure out, you know, it'll tell you exactly what disease they're finding in the fields near you, and then you can preemptively spray. I like to just go ahead and use fungicide on my, on my strawberries. Um, you know, uh, I, you can use like neem and neem and, um, and oil is a real mild fungicide. So if you want to use that, then alternate with a stronger one. You can get fungicides and already mixed up in sprays or organic from the store. You can use that too. Um, you can use copper. It's always, it's good to alternate because some are better at different variety, at dealing with different funguses than others. And so if you're using fungicide regularly, the plants will develop resistance to the fungicide, organic or not, doesn't matter. And so um, you want to go ahead and, um, and alternate. So you kind of keep the plants guessing or the, the you know, the plants re, uh, adaptive. Um, and so that is the most important thing there for you to know is disease, disease, disease. Keep your towers, don't spray. Don't let water spray your towers. Don't use a, um, you know, don't let the sprinklers hit your towers. Make sure they dry out during the day. Make sure there's lots of airflow. Make sure they have plenty and plenty of sun and that will really cut down. Make sure you use some controls like just cutting off leaves when you see bat when you see disease make sure you keep an eye on them because if they do get diseased then you're going to want to um, spray right away but spray preemptively that's probably the only crop I would tell you to do that with spray preemptively so that you prevent the fungicide so I hope this helps you guys have a happy healthy strawberry growing season with your tower garden